Thank you very much for joining me on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into a surge of dust that is headed our way. Right now we have some light dust around. Here's the Caribbean, the blue shading, some light dust. We've been seeing it over toward Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago. We've had the dust, even St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada. But what's going to happen as we get down the road, and I'm going to show you that in some different maps, that this thicker dust out here, that kind of yellowish, greenish shading you're seeing, that is going to surge our way and even move some of the dust say over toward Aruba as we get into next week. So let's break this down here. Now let me set the stage here using some different maps so I just want to get into this. Here's the Caribbean. Gulf of Mexico, you get back toward the Atlantic, uh, Bermuda here, you get over toward Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Jamaica right here, Venezuela, Colombia, get toward uh, Costa Rica and Panama. Now, here's the coast of Africa. This is not going to be like a summertime surge of dust where we get that really thick stuff, but for this time of year, it is going to be pretty persistent. So we got a big blob of dust coming off the coast of Africa on Friday. So two days from now, uh, the thicker dust right now is going to be over on Friday, I should say, in the central Atlantic. Atlantic. Look what happens as we move forward. There's no big fronts diving down, so the winds stay out of the east. So it takes that dust that was right here that I just showed you on Friday, and then this is Monday. With that persistent easterly flow, it starts to move in. Now you see some of the numbers here. That, uh, that's some of the uh, thicker dust in spots. Don't worry about the numbers, but this kind of uh, tan shading, this uh, uh, kind of light, light brown shading you're seeing here, that's the dust. So on Monday, a thicker batch starts to roll in. Watching anywhere from Dominica south, we could see it around St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Suriname, Guyana, seeing some of that dust moving in. But let me go from Monday into Tuesday and look how this starts to work across. I mentioned that flow out of the east, very persistent. So we get that dust surging into the at least the south central Caribbean. So Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, northern Venezuela, parts of Colombia will see some of that dust working in. So again, early next week, if you have the dust and you've had it in some spots, it is going to get a little bit thicker for us in some locations. So I'm going to keep a very very close eye on this and it's all tied to what's going on up to the north. I love how the weather ties together with kind of everything across the globe. So here we are over toward the Caribbean Gulf right here. Here's our old front. Now what's happening is we've got another system here. We have this spin in this front up here. That's out of the picture. Here's the next system but this one isn't going to dive down to the south. It's going to move more from west to east. So it's not going to surge in any of that cooler weather. So this just kind of scoots off here. That will continue to give us that easterly flow across the Caribbean. And it gives a lot of time to take some of that dust and work it into our direction. So that's why we're going to have dust uh, around as we get into early next week because we don't have a front dying down. But looking ahead to what's next, just to give you that early heads up, there's another system pulling on shore near Canada back toward uh, parts of the Western United States. This one is going to surge more to the south. This is really as we get into next week. So we could see a front kind of squeaking through, clipping by at least our northern zones once we get into next week. So I'll monitor that down the road. But the dust is kind of something new for some of us. Uh, uh, we, a lot of us have had a break in the dust. I know some of us have had it, but this is kind of new in the forecast. So I wanted to spell that out for you. So we're going to see that surge of dust with that easterly flow. This is the old front, by the way. You see a few of the clouds here. Those kind of all falling apart, so that front has fallen apart, so the temperatures will gradually be making a climb. All right, let me get into the forecast as well. Most of us, a lot of sunshine, beautiful sunshine in the forecast. Staying a little breezy, of course, some gusty winds out of the east-southeast. There's that easterly flow, and that is going to be staying with us. Now, tomorrow, I do want to mention, we're going to see a little bit more rain picking up. So Trinidad and Tobago could see a better chance of a few showers. Guadalupe tomorrow, up towards St. Kitts and Nevis. Even Jamaica, better chance of a couple showers tomorrow, but a lot of sunshine today. Eastern Caribbean back into the Western Caribbean. Here's Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. My friends over toward Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. You see that rain chance very low today and generally that air quality is good but as we get into later in the week and then again into next week the rain chance will be getting higher. Slightly better chance of rain over toward Colombia and Panama. So kind of tying all of this together. I'm going to monitor that surge of dust. We'll watch it together as that moves from the Atlantic 
into parts of the Caribbean. We get that higher chance of rain. I mentioned that, especially in the Eastern Caribbean uh, tomorrow, but even more so on Friday. And then I'll be watching those fronts in the United States. And it really depends on, our weather depends on, you know, how far those dig to the south. But early next week, that one I showed you way the heck out into uh, uh, parts of Canada and the Western United States, that one could dig a little bit more to the south. That means some slightly cooler weather in some spots as we get into next week. By the way, the Caribbean for my captains and mariners out there, all that good stuff. Seas running at about one to two meters for the most part in the Caribbean, of course. They've been higher Puerto Rico northward. U.S. British Virgin Islands been watching over towards St. Martin. Some rockier seas mainly off onto the Atlantic waters. I'll keep you posted on that. So we'll watch these fronts. We're going to watch that higher chance of rain and the dust. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this channel with your friends and family where you live. I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.